CPO 9 News. The deadline for states to certify their election results is either coming up or has already passed. Ohio's Secretary of State still has another week to certify the election results. But the process, Craig, and changes to it already have county boards and lawmakers talking about what's next. Here's reporter Larry Seward. With all the votes counted and polls packed up, the gray hair growing pressure to manage mind-blowing presidential election turnout in a pandemic. What are your takeaways from this? I'm still alive. That's all that matters. This shaved years off my life. Left smiles and changed that election directors want to last. It was emotionally challenging, you know, for the people here. Especially with early voting. We could not have handled this type of turnout at the polls. 82% of people registered in Warren County voted, most of them by mail or in person early. That did nothing but help us, you know, at the polls. You know, it's a much more controlled environment here at the Board of Elections office where, you know, and people are trained more, they work a lot more than poll workers work one day a year. So, you know, it really help streamline the process. Rules that allowed it were temporary, so was the Secretary of State's order that let election staff call or email voters about mistakes. A lot of times people, you know, got our letter after it was too late, you know, years back, years past. So now um, I, I hope that continues for elections to come. State senators already have two bills they're considering. One would beef up checks on e-poll book and ballot printing vendors. Another would ditch paper requests for mail ballots and let voters do it online. Requesting a ballot online, I think, you know, that needs to happen. You can register to vote online, but yet you can't request a ballot online. So, um, so I think, you know, that, that needs to happen um, to help. You know, again, streamline this whole process. It is not clear how or when senators will vote, but people like Sleeth only hope the next steps repeat those taken in November. Larry Seward, WCPO 9 News.